A great way of adding dimension and texture to your paper crafting projects is adding sewing or quilting. And we have May Flom here today uh, to show us just some of these fun techniques. And May, I'm thoroughly impressed with the uh, cards you have here and just the creativity, how you use scan and cut with different sewing features. Uh, can you explain a little bit about these? Well, thanks, Liz. And yes, you know, I really love how the scan and cut has such great patterns for quilting and fabric work. And I'm loving using that, but I wanted to see if I could use some of those patterns and ideas for my paper crafting and my card making. So I started with, this is a scrap of paper left over from a, excuse me, a scrap of fabric left over from a sewing project I did at Christmas. What I love about the machine is the grid on the mat matches perfectly to the grid shown on the screen. So if I can see on here where I'm going to be cutting, it will, my, it, I never go over, I never have to worry about if my paper is big enough because I can see exactly how to do that. You just count up the, just count the squares. Up the squares. The inch, the inch yeah. squares. Well, I do that as well, but there actually is, uh, because it is scan and cut and has a scanner in it, I don't know if you knew this, but there is a scan feature where you can scan in your background so that you can use the grid as well, but then also position your uh, designs anywhere on your, your fabric that you're gonna be cutting, which in your case here, having these cutouts already probably would be uh, really helpful. Definitely. Let's go ahead and press the scan there and start. So I see here, uh, May, that you have some leaves already picked out for us. I am going to go in and pull all of them together with our gathering here. This unites all of them together. And then there actually is an option down here to unify, which means that all of the shapes will now become one and I can move them anywhere I want to on my pattern here. So here where they were initially kind of down with the, the cutouts, now I can pull them up. Let's just nudge them a little bit higher. And now I know for sure that they're going to cut out of the fabric. That's great. Okay, and let's cut. Now my next step is to get out my brother sewing machine, which I always use for this stuff. And I do and remember that. You love I your do. sewing machine. I love my sewing machine. And I get it out and I stitch halfway. For this one, because it has kind of an angle to a couple different angles to it, I stitched about three quarters of the way, but you're gonna wanna have some kind of opening left. And with that opening, what you're gonna wanna do is to take some stuffing, filling, whatever you might happen to have, tissue paper even could work. Oh yeah. But you're just gonna want a little bit of it, and you're just gonna tuck it inside, and then just hold it down and stitch that last piece. And because of the dimension, you might get a little bit of wrinkling down at the bottom. It might fold up a little bit, but that is okay because as you can see over here on the finished one, in the center, you're going to have something. And this is a circle that I've cut from the machine out of a thick glitter paper there's going to be something in the center, so you're not going to see the very end. And it actually is so, nat natural for flowers to kind of gather in the center Absolutely, well. absolutely. So I really like that. And what I really, I really am loving with this is that I can take my fabric and then on this one, I cut out some holly leaves and a flourish out of a thick glitter paper so that I could have a whole bunch of different textures and feelings going on on that one Christmas card.